Hey guys, long time no see, right? And guess what? Still on hold with eBay. Pretty sure it's glitched. It's been on for, let's see, how long? 29 minutes and 13 seconds, and the estimated wait time was one minute. So I'm pretty sure this isn't happening. But that doesn't matter, that's just humoring me. So we have this list, look at this, we got a list right here, there's 10 items. What are we gonna do with these? We're gonna put them on my new eBay account. And this is the optimization account, so this is relevant. You guys could do this right away. I mean, look at my freaking item limit. 10 items? That doesn't just mean I can only post 10 items. That means I can only sell 10 items in a month. That's ridiculous. Whew. All right. So how are we, we're going to pick these items. But luckily, since I have this bulk account, I don't need to worry about wasting time figuring out what to post. I have the items that I've sold the best of. So I just organize this list, and that's what this is. This is my 10 most frequently selling items that are under a hundred bucks cool so now what I need to figure out is can I use Hydra to post these using the single item editor so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my eBay keys on Skugrid or Hydra and I can't show you this part because if you have my keys then you can literally do anything you want with my account if you know how to use programs um, what I'm doing is I'm just resetting up Hydra, but I'm logging into my uh, my second, my new eBay eBay account, and this one is GG Specials. No, GG's Special. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just logging in, and then you get taken to this page, right? Ready to use Hydra? Great, awesome. Okay, agree. And now what happened is eBay's just like, okay, Hydra, you just got their information. They just logged in. At least we hope it's them. So here's this key that you need to do whatever you want. And now if I refresh Hydra, it has a different key, at least theoretically. So if I try and post an item here, it's going to go to a different account right so I'm changing my margin here we go now why is it man I can't figure out how to get it to test formula 100 I'm, try I'm trying to change my, my pricing on this, but it's not uh, actually doing it. It doesn't really matter because I'm not using any repricing stuff. So we're going to just try and get a draft list listed here. So what I'm going to do is go here. And now we have our Hydra account, right? We're going to go to single lister and just type in the URL and see what happens. We're, gonna, we're probably going to have some issues here because I have... Oh no, this isn't gonna work because I haven't set up my payment policies and all of that. Oh, yeah, it, it, this doesn't matter though. Oh, okay, I guess I know what this video is about then. It's gonna be about setting up your business policies for the first time. Okay, so we have to go to our settings, batch single list or settings, US. And this is, let me see, I have to move this in case something uh, personal comes. Oh, I'm showing, I just showed you my keys. But it's to my fucked up account, and that's gonna or my new account with nothing on it. So I'm just gonna take that risk. If you hack it, you hack it. That's cool, but it's got ten items, so you could you could make an account with more than that. Um, all right, we need to update our seller profiles, and I don't have any set. Oh, because it's logging into this new eBay account. Okay, so we're gonna pull up the new eBay account. Come on. All right, here's the new eBay account. We are going to go to my eBay and then click on summary. Now from here, click on account. And then from here, find business policies. I think it's here somewhere. PayPal, communications, site preferences, business information. Uh, I swear it was here somewhere. Seller account, is that it? Seller account, am I blind? I swear business policies is here somewhere. Site preferences. 
Why do I think that it's... Huh. I've never done this setup. Okay, so I can post something over here. But... Do I have to post something that way? I have to do something manually? Oh, come on. You guys have to deal with this? Oh, man. I'm so sorry. It's, another reason I'm doing this is because I don't really know what it's like for somebody who's starting off on eBay now. I started off like two years ago. Things were different back then. Obviously, still fairly similar. This is, this is familiar. Business policies! Oh! Ha! I found it. Oh, yeah. That was purely luck. Okay, try now, that seems to be. So I just opted into business policies. And now, of course, if I go to my eBay and click summary, and then I go to account, business policy. See, now magically it's there. I, I knew it was supposed to be there. I wasn't just looking there for no reason. I, I, I know some things, I swear. I can be useful. All right, so we're going to make our first policy. And this is going to be our payment policy. So this is just going to be our PayPal PayPal payments that's accepted. Okay, so that is the default policy. PayPal, and I'm gonna set this up. I can't show you this, obviously, so I'm gonna do it over here real quick. Sorry to not be looking over there. It's kind of hard to work while I'm doing this, you know? And I have to figure out ways to, like, ugh. Anyway, I'm, I'm blabbering. I need to move forward and get these policies set up, because this is something that you would have to do uh, if you started. And we're not going to check immediate payment. And uh, we're going to accept all these through PayPal. Or actually, no, just through PayPal. Other payment methods. Nope. Just click save. Okay, cool. So now I have this, right? So I'm using my same PayPal account from uh, my other eBay. So uh, that could cause issues later, but for now it's going to be fine. So now we're going to create a return policy. This is going to be our standard 30 day return policy. Set as default. Default. Okay, returns accepted and we're going to offer 30 day returns and money back. Return shipping will be paid by seller. And do you want to recharge? Nope, nope, nope. Cool, awesome, because what we are doing is just, we're just copying Walmart's return policy, which is really, really, really lenient, and they take care of everything. So, might as well just extend that to our buyers. All right, we have a payment policy, a return policy. Now what we need is a shipping policy. This is relevant. The other two things you're gonna do basically the same as what I did. Um, but this is gonna be our standard drop shipping with international. Okay, it's going to be the default, and shipping is going to be, we're going to say calculated, but then we're going to check free shipping, so it doesn't matter. Free shipping? Okay, that's important because the price of your item is, shipping's already included, so it's, it's always going to be free shipping. Um, the thing that you want to look at is whatever you pick here is going to show, it's going to show that the buyer is going to see a date. Like, if it's the 10th, and you say that you have one handling day and two to three business days, that means they're going to be shown, okay, today's the 10th, so you're going to get this package between the 13th and the 14th. They're shown a date that is your handling time plus your shipping time, okay? So what we're going to do is UPS ground because that's one to five. You want something, you could even do this one, USPS parcel select ground, two to nine. Maybe I'm going to do that just for kicks, right? Because all that this does, this has nothing to do with actual shipping service. All that this does is show them a bigger date. And often, if you ship really fast, like if you sell items from Walmart that ship in two days, but you tell the buyer that you're going to take 10 days, they are more likely to leave you good feedback because you, you over deliver. Like you want to understate things and over deliver when it comes to feedback. You can get a lot more feedback if you surprise the buyer if that makes sense. And our handling time, we're going to state three business days. As far as I know, for Cassini, you want two. And if you're a top rated seller, you have to do same or one. Or at least that used to be true. I'm not sure if that's true anymore. No handling cost. And our international shipping, put none. You, you do want to do international shipping, but we are going to do it through the eBay global shipping program. Okay. And then we're going to exclude any of these because 
Um, Walmart often doesn't ship to these. P.O. boxes we're okay with because in some situations, Walmart will ship certain items to P.O. boxes. Okay. Now I click save. Now, this actually doesn't have international yet. So, how do I do that? Because this isn't part of eBay GSP. See? This is separate. So this is like, oh, I'm going to use USPS's international. We're going to say no uh, shipping, uh, international shipping for now. And I'm going to assume that uh, it's not showing me GSP just because I'm a brand new seller and it doesn't want to overwhelm me. But now look at this. We have a payment, we have a return, and we have a shipping policy. That should be everything we need to move forward with our Scoogrid or with our Hydra account. So I'm going to refresh this page really quick. I'm messing with my settings and we're going to get update our profiles. Aha. Fantastic. I can show you this actually. So, uh, well, no, I can't. It has too much other information on it. I can show you the part I'm doing, but not what's immediately under it, which sucks. We're going to do that. Okay. And then click save. All right, change our margin. Okay, so I, I just set up my pricing and everything. I set up my three policies and business policies. I showed you how to do that, right? That's useful. Um, now, I think we're all good. I think that I can try posting one of those items now. So let's minimize this account and we're gonna start with this item. And we're gonna show you, oh, oh, I showed you all the bad stuff. Whoops, you could pause the video and totally take advantage of that. But it's all information about this crappy account, which has nothing in it. So, you know, do what you will. We have our single item lister. So the idea with the items on this account is that we're going to optimize them. We're going to optimize all the titles and, and, and well, we're using a list of items that have already sold on my other account. So we know that they're somewhat useful. So look at this. Okay, we have a UPC code. We have MPN. We have all this. Awesome, fantastic. So, oh, this looks solid. It's actually way too long. Okay, we're gonna keep Limo Studio, um, photography, 600 watt, photography, video, portrait, portrait lighting kit. I think that's all we can do, let's see. 68. Now we could do a tiny bit more. Um, we could use these. I've never used either of these tools, but if you got Hydra, this is what you have access to. And I'm trying to make videos that are useful to you. So maybe I should try and use these tools. I'm carrying case. Do I really care that it has a carrying case? I guess so. That's fine. Video portrait umbrella lighting kit with oh no carrying case ah oh, that's too much okay and also these need to be separate you don't want to combine things like that because then the buyer needs to actually type in photography slash video plus case with case okay with case 78 all right, that's perfect. You can only have 80 keywords. This right here, this is the most important part of optimization. eBay is keyword driven. So pictures are important, other things are important, but this is the driving factor. So you wanna have 80 keywords. Figure out 80 keywords for your item. Because if you have 40, that's half as many things that can be searched for and lead to your item. It's useful, pay attention to it. Okay. Normally, I don't talk about this stuff because I do bulk and I don't care about it, but this is an optimization style, so it's going to be different, all right? You want to make sure you have your UPC code and make sure you have an MPN. These are things that are important to eBay, and more buyers will see your item if you have both of these. If you don't know what the UPC code is, you can take your item. So here we go. We're going to go to, um, let's say, UPC site MDB. There's a bunch of different ones. You type in... You just paste the, uh, or I could just do this, UPC code. You paste the title, 
Oh, that's the one that I I made though, isn't it? Let's uh, let's grab the original one here. So daylight CFL. Okay, there we go. Do this. And then oh, <laughs> duh. Okay, this, and then UPC code. Nope, that didn't work. UPC site. Maybe they'll know it now. Oh, look, there you go. See, it's right there. That's the UPC code. So you can find it that way and then often also find the model number here. This is a different model number than the one I have. Whatever. Just make sure you have something there. Obviously, if it's the right one, that's better. <laughs> but something's better than nothing. So we have that. We have all of our photos. What order do we want these photos to be in? Well, usually you want to show the item that is that shows everything the kit comes with. That is usually what you want the first picture to be. Because um, if people just see this as the first picture, they're just going to assume oh, oh, it's only these two things that it comes with. Okay, So we've got a good amount of pictures here. We want at least three pictures. Here we have eight. That's great. Okay, So our description, we can mess with this a bit if we want. Yada yada, I don't really care. Uh, in my opinion, people look at photos and titles. They don't give a crap about descriptions. It's not worth your time. Other people feel differently. What I have learned in my eBay experience is a mistake in the title or a mistake in the picture will cause a problem. But a mistake in the description probably won't. So, all right, we're gonna click list item and it's probably gonna error. Oh no! Oh, so it's looking at all of the items that I've listed to my other eBay account. Hydra doesn't care that I'm posting these to my new eBay account. So I have to figure out a way to work around that. But that's my problem. That's not going to happen to you guys. You guys will just be able to post the item if you're using Hydra. So I'm going to end the video now because it's gone on too long and you get what I'm doing. And uh, I'll probably do another video. I feel pretty good right now, and uh, I know exactly what I'm trying to do some concepts and talk about here. So uh, thanks for watching.